particular. But there's a negative. There's a sort of shadow to this whole good story. And the shadow is this. And I, I guess, again, I have to be honest with you. Clint Eastwood was so damn good. I wound up laughing and cheering and saying, thank God he came out and saved them. He did save them. Turned it around. And yet today, Ann Romney goes and basically stabs him in the back. Now, I got to say something right now. She's taking too prominent a role. She's having a little too good a time. She's like the girl at the wedding who won't get off the platform and she keeps dancing. She's not running for office. Mitt Romney is running for office. If I have any advice to give the Republicans, it's Anne, take two steps back. You're not running for office. Moreover, I don't like her undermining uh, uh, everything that was gained yesterday. She goes on to the Communist Broadcasting Service, CBS, and they start putting her on the spot, and she basically slaps uh, Eastwood around like he was not really good for them. This is unbelievable to me. Listen to clip 44. Do you wish that video had aired in primetime instead of Clint Eastwood's monologue? <laughs> you know, um, I, I, I think it's important um, that people do see that side of Mitt. We appreciated Clint's support, of course, um, but it's so hard to really get... All right, it's um, enough a, already. Enough already. She, she the laughter I don't like. I've had that all my life. Oh, he's a wild, crazy guy. Oh, he's unique. No, ma'am. He's a giant. He's a genius. He's an American icon. Nobody knows you, Anne. He did you a favor. He bailed you out. And you got to stop slapping him around. He's the best thing that ever happened to the Republican Party. And I resent it for one. And, and frankly, I'm going to ask you, the listener on the Savage Nation, because apparently the Romney team has someone listening to this show. They're desperate for every vote. They finally found out that in addition to the felons and the illegal aliens, there, are, there is a core conservative base of about 10 million people listening to the Savage Nation. And they know that you weren't too happy with the eunuchs that we heard on Tuesday or Wednesday. Well, we're happy today with Eastwood, Rubio, and Mitt. But here's the question. Do you think Ann Romney should step back two paces from this campaign and get off the front of the stage? I'll be right back. Savage. All right, so again, if you just tuned in, I'm thrilled that Eastwood, Rubio, and Romney himself saved the day. That's the positive news, and we're going to play pieces of their speeches uh, all day today so you finally understand what a great team uh, Romney and Ryan will make. But the, the issue that's troubling me is Ann Romney. I don't like the prominence that she is taking. She is enjoying herself a little too much. She thinks she's running for office. She is not doing him a service as far as I am concerned by playing such a prominent role. And frankly, I'd like to hear from women. Women only. Do you think Ann Romney is playing too prominent a role and that she ought to step back a few steps and let her husband shine? She seems to be competing with him. She seems to compete with him everywhere and in every way. She seems to be on every show and uh, as though she's running for office. I mean, when I go to vote, is it going to say Bar Barack and Michelle Obama uh, versus Mitt and Ann Romney? No, it's going to say Barack Obama D, Mitt Romney R. I'm sick of this. I don't like it. Something's wrong. And I love women. I think women are great, but she's not running for office. I'd like to know why she's basically giving Clint Eastwood a little offhand jape here. Listen to clip 46, how she's set up by the Communist Broadcast Service host. You seem to be surprised by Clint Eastwood's Boys. performance as the camera took a cutaway of you. <laughs> Um, I, I didn't know it was coming. Um, again, I can tell you we're grateful for everyone's support. It, and right, that does it for me. <laughs> the country club woman. You know, I've been around women like that all my life. I don't like them, to be frank with you. If I don't like them, you could just imagine what poor people are feeling. You know, Miss Perfect. <laughs> like he's some weirdo. Clint Eastwood, an American icon, a world icon. Ann Romney, no one will ever remember. <laughs> And then instead of saying we're grateful for Clint's support, she adds another stab in the back. We're grateful for everyone's support. In other words, he wasn't even there. Ha, ha, ha. Because the communist liberals didn't like him. So already she's in their, in their camp. No good. No good. Sorry. 
I have the most attuned ear in the history of the American media, and I am telling you, somebody who's listening to me in the East, in the excuse, I almost said the Eastwood campaign, in the Romney campaign, you've listened to me. You told Mitt not to not to apologize for his Mormonism. He didn't. He took it out of his speech last night. I said, send him to Louisiana. You sent him to Louisiana. I'm telling you to talk to Ann and tell her, wonderful woman. Just breathe, take a deep breath in and step back two paces. Let your husband shine. Stop competing with him for the spotlight. Am I wrong or right? That's what I want to know. Sacramento, Arizona.